Knuckles. What's up, Knuckles? Your boy Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk. With another short, short one just for you, you, you. This one's, um, you know, I just saw about, um, what's the brother? Ten Toes Down. Ten Toes Down. He said um, Hassan has some kind of deadline. I heard him say this before this date. Well, I think they said August 14th. I didn't know what he was talking about, right? Then I checked another video. He said the same thing about you got the August 14th, right? So he said that Hassan Kim has to August 14th to press charges and take Bam to court. After August 14th, the case is done. There's no more. He can't do nothing about it. So he had 20 years to bring this man to court, right? So he comes out on YouTube as the, um, the victim, you know, talking about kids and well, how many kids, thousands of kids Bam's done had. And mess with in Bronx River in the Bronx, all over the world, he says, right? So now it's time to take this man to court. He ain't making no move. He ain't making that one move, right? So I'm thinking like this. I'm like, hey, if you, you're the big activist, you want to sit here and always criticize, what's her name, Tamika Mallory and my son for, for not doing things. You got the opportunity right there to help yourself. Plus all the thousands of people you done claimed who was molested by him. Maybe if you go to court, maybe other kids, whatever, or grown men, you know, y'all no damn kids. Your grown men might get some kind of closure or something like that. Maybe you can help them, right? But he's selfish. He don't want to do that. He know if he was even to bring the slightest thought of taking Bam to court, what would happen? I'm not saying nothing... It's going to happen to him like for his bodily harm. It's going to be mentally harm for him. You know what I'm saying? Because he got, they're going to want to know everything. Once you get lawyers and stuff and things, they start asking questions and this what is what is. All that thigh stuff is going to be out the window. It's going to be out the window. They're going to bring up every dude he done slobbed and bob, every dude that done splashed him, you know, broke him in, every goddamn thing. So he knows this, right? But he's playing a dangerous game, a dangerous game against a man who has money. Bam is not poor. He's still getting residuals, so signing for us and things like that. He still got cash, right? So therefore, if he wait past August 14th, he can't do nothing. But Bam could do something. Bam could take him to court and sue his ass. Huh? You see all them gold chains he got there? The little lease Audi. What he got um the, the KM bike, his little puppies and all that shit there. Bam will take all that shit away. For slander. He's dead sure guilty of it. So therefore, he's playing a dangerous game with a man who got cash. You know what I'm saying? If he don't bring him to court, that means Bam can't say like, well, I did not do it. And I, oh, I did it. Or whatever. And they could bring the whole sexual things out. He don't want that. Because it's going to come out that he was consensual. Bam was paying for him. Doing lots of things for him. You know, put a fool on his table. And every goddamn thing. He was saying what time. Um... Bam paid for my college. What college did you go to, you goddamn fool? Yeah, like, he's so stupid, <laughs> you know? But he says things like this here, right? He's not going to take Bam to court. He's not. And what about all, all the thousand kids there? You're supposed to be the big activist of the hood, you know, talking to kids and all this here, do this for the kids, you know, the young bloods. All the young bloods out there in Bronx River, you're supposed to leave them behind. You're supposed to be your hood, huh? You're supposed to be the, the big man on YouTube now. You can't represent for your hood. For the other so-called victims, he's gonna let he's gonna let it go. April fourteenth, nothing can happen no more. But like I say, it's playing a dangerous game. He's gonna mess around. Bam Bam's gonna sue his ass for slander and take all his shit. He's gonna take all his shit. That's gonna be a good. That's a great plan. Cause he know he's not gonna come and say that's good court. He know that cause he don't want everything out. Bam's an old man now. How old is Bam about shit? Bam in the 60s. But Bam can say, yeah, fuck it. This is what happened. Yeah, I did this and that and start admitting everything. This is what he did. I got the, the, the black book. Here, his picture right here. He's, he's jacking on. He's, he's naked making muscles and picking up two pieces. But I did everything to him. I did this to him. I, I effed him. He slobbed me. He did every goddamn thing. He doesn't want that to come out. You know what I'm saying? He don't want that to come out. But like I said, it's a dangerous game you're playing with Bam. You know what I'm saying? If you don't do it, Poppy, if you don't take him to court, he might sweep for slander. And you can look at thousands of videos you'd have made about this man. Slander. There's no way you're going to win. <laughs> There's no way you're going to win. This could be the end of Poppy if Bam want to. You know what I'm saying? But maybe if he was, you no know, 
a good little little good bottom B, you know what I'm saying, to him. Dog all them years, you no know, Bob Bam was giving him spices and shit like that. When he was sick and take care of him. Hey, we don't know what's gonna happen. But like I say, he's not gonna take him to court. He's not gonna take him to court. And if Bam's for slander, he's done. And I'm my fan piece.